Hello, solo promoter, YouTube subscribers, and friends. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button right now while you're here. Um, a while ago, I did a video called Let's Talk Booking, where I uh, booked like sort of a, the next couple few cards of my Champions of the Galaxy fed. And uh, uh, some people have asked me, some people have requested that I do one for Legends. Now, I will say that... Um, Aside from sort of the number of shows and, and how I kind of lay out the shows um, in terms of uh, when they occur uh, and how I kind of track some things, my booking style is kind of the same. It's just like, you know, I see where feuds pop up, where feuds go away. Um, but I'm happy to to do a Legends one, especially since I just finished uh, my game year 2138 and uh, for Champions of the Galaxy. And now I'm about ready to dive back uh, full force into Legends, and I'm very excited to do that. Um, so uh, I thought I would do a little video for that. Now, let me show you what I have here. Um, when I sit down to book, I have my uh, main um, notebook here. I've done a video on these notebooks. This is just all the results for my Legends feds. Uh, so they, I, I write the results down in here, and... Um, then, uh, and I also in the front, I track, oh, I don't, I haven't put any of these in here yet, but I track who the champions are. I just haven't, I haven't added them yet, but I will. Um, anyway, so this is my, my sort of results book. Um, and then the other thing I have is this little, uh, black book where I write down ideas. Uh, and this is just if a feud comes up or if I have an idea for something, I will write it in here. Uh, you can see it says feuds and ideas. Um, and the reason I do this, in, write it in here instead of here, is I just want to keep this book just strictly results and sort of like a an archive of of the feds. And this is just a book I can scribble notes in and everything. Uh, you can see here's my GWF um now, I started this kind of halfway through my GWF year, uh, but I've had these little ideas of different feuds, and I just simply write Epoch versus Tempest, and uh, why? Uh, because of Flaunch. Um, if you don't know Champions of the Galaxy, these names probably won't mean anything to you. Tempest versus the Conquerors, Blood and Fire versus FDF Tradition. These are all little feuds that I have that I um, did, and then I did a storyline where uh, the Gladiators left, and um, the, the, uh, just a little thing going on with Dark Menace. The, the storyline was a huge flop uh, because of injuries and suspensions. Uh, but anyway, so I just wrote a little one-line note there. And when I pick back up GWF, I will uh, continue writing in there. And then uh, I have notes for Golden State Wrestling, for Memphis Championship, and for Portland Wrestling, which we will get into in just a second. And then, of course, I have my cards because um, when I start booking matches, I like to put the cards together and put them all in a stack in the order of um, that the matches are going to happen. Uh, the other thing I have open right now is I have an iPad uh, just right off screen here, and it has Obsidian open. And um, so Obsidian is a software. I'm, I'm going to start doing more videos on Obsidian. Uh, the first one should be up already uh, by the time this video airs. Um, but uh, Obsidian just helps. It's like a spreadsheet on steroids. That's what I kind of call it. And it helps me book things. So if we look at, uh, I'm going to set these cards aside for a second. If we look at the page that I have called up in Obsidian, um, this is just a simple page I have. This is a, a notes page uh, that just shows the monthly shows. So uh, I've started, I decided to start doing playing yearly to track dates um, so that if I have uh, an injury or a loser leaves town match and somebody's gone for a year or six months or 90 days or whatever it is, uh, I can track those days. And uh, so, uh, so I, I started. I started laying out the week. I have three feds. Uh, they all uh, exist in the same universe. Um, there's Golden State Wrestling, which is sort of my uh, de my main fed, WWF style fed. There is uh, Pacific Northwest Wrestling, and there is Memphis Championship Wrestling. And um, so uh, you can see here on the um, screen. Uh, that I have week one is a Golden State Wrestling show, and that's Wrestling Superstars. Week two, uh, there's three shows. On Monday, there's Golden State Wrestling. That's primetime wrestling. Um, on Friday is Pacific Northwest Wrestling. And then on Saturday is a Memphis Championship Wrestling. That's their TV show. 
week three on Monday. So it's actually, uh, you know, this Saturday Memphis show takes place on their Sunday. Then there's Monday. It's Memphis Championship Wrestling. And that, of course, is uh, emanating from uh, the uh, Mid-South Coliseum. And then uh, on Sunday of that week is Golden State Wrestling, Wrestling Challenge. And then week four is another Pacific Northwest show on a Friday night. And then Saturday night, Golden State Wrestling, they have their big arena show. So this is, uh, as you can see, Golden State Wrestling has a card or matches every single week. Um, Pacific Northwest Wrestling has two cards. Um, I, I, I really kind of tweet... I treat um, Pacific Northwest Wrestling as it's sort of a TV show. Um, you know, it's a live event TV show uh, thing, and they're just kind of wholly contained in the TV show. Um, they do sometimes travel uh, around. And then Memphis has a TV show, so that's an in-studio show, and then their um, big uh, event at the Mid-South Coliseum. And that is how I have it laid out. But um, as you are going to see as we book this month, I've already kind of mixed these around and, and this is all very flexible because if you can't, if you, you lock yourself into a, a, a way of doing things and like you just think like, oh, I can never change from this, you're just going to, um, you know, wear yourself out. Obsidian also has a thing called the Fantasy Calendar. It is a community plugin you can get and you can... Um, uh, install in your Obsidian uh, installation. Um, and uh, basically what this is, is it lets you have a calendar from any time period. You can even create your own calendars. You can say how many months are in a year, how many days are in a week, how many, you know, whatever you want to say, uh, you, you know, how long is each day, whatever. And it's, uh, they call it fantasy calendar because a lot of people use it for Dungeons and Dragons. Well, I'm using it very simply in that um, I've started tracking these feds in January of 1980. And um, so this is the actual calendar from 1980. And you can see that all the gold, little gold spots on here are uh, Golden State Wrestling cards. Um, all the green uh, on here are Portland Wrestling cards. And all the red on here are Memphis Wrestling cards. Um, so you can, at a glance, you can just uh, see... Um, so, uh, you know, there's Memphis Championship Wrestling, card number 29. Click on that, and it loads that card over here. Um, but right now, we are going into February, and um, I've started booking out February. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I got so excited for the new Legends cards. Um, remember when I told you that uh, I've already kind of uh, gotten rid, I've already kind of jumped through uh, or change the monthly shows. I got so excited to play Legends again, I moved my Pacific Northwest Wrestling show uh, to February 1st. So that's actually the first show of the month, and I've already rolled out this card. Now, the, the other thing is, uh, the next thing is, um, that Saturday is Wrestling Superstars, and um, you can see that I already have that card booked. Uh, that card is all booked and ready to go. Um, and now here's the other thing with booking too, is like I, I won't book necessarily a whole month in advance. Um, I, I may come up with some ideas and so I'll put the cards in, but I don't book completely a whole month in advance because uh, things might happen on this show uh, that might, uh, you know, uh, give, you know, might spur other ideas, <clears throat> excuse me, for later in the month. Um, so uh, as we get started booking here, I, I will look to my little, uh, my little idea, feud and ideas books here, and I will go through here and I will uh, kind of update this list. Now, uh, the Moondogs and the Bolsheviks, uh, they had a bit of a brawl and um, uh, the, the Moondogs won, beat the Bolsheviks, and I, I don't really want to extend that feud um, for much longer. So I'm going to say that that is done. Um, I will say that the, the Moondogs, I'm thinking of moving to my Memphis territory. So I also kind of want to end the program uh, just because that might happen. Um, Doug and Morocco for the TV title, that is still going on. Um, Outlaws and the Bulldogs. Uh, let me see here. Um, the Outlaws 
Yeah, so this this Outlaws versus the Bulldogs, this has not happened yet. Uh, Race versus Savage for the uh, title, that is done, because that was on the last Supercard I did um, in January of 1980. And then Blanchard versus Poffo. Um, yeah, Poffo was injured for two cards. Uh during the last uh, event we did. Um, so this, this I'm not going to cross that off because that could still be going on. Um, Memphis Championship Wrestling. Um, and see, this is where I can pull out uh, this book as well because I can look at the results and see. Um, Dennis Condry and Rick McCord, I think that's still going to go on. Jackie Fargo... Uh, versus Austin Idol. Um, I think that is taken care of because they had a big two out of three falls match um, and uh, Austin Idol beat Jackie Fargo pretty handily. And then Jimmy Valiant and Sputnik and Rowe, that one is done because uh, there was a Loser Leaves Town match and Jimmy Valiant is gone. Um, so that is pretty much updated there. And then... Uh, for Portland Wrestling, uh, Pritchard and Magnum TA. I got to write in the results here. I have one uh, for card number 18. Uh, and actually, let me call that up on... Because um, uh, I don't have these results written in here. Uh, but Sergeant Slaughter crushed Steve Regal. Magnum TA put Tom Pritchard out with a sleeper. Um I could see a few more matches going in there. And then uh, Dutch Savage and Adrian Adonis uh, had a tag team match against the Destroyer and the Grappler. So I'm going to say these two are still going as well. Um, yeah. So anyway, so there you go. Just looking through that, looking through my handbook here, I can see the things I want to book. So I already have the next Golden State Wrestling um, card booked. Um, as, as you can see here, uh, the Moondogs versus the Monkey Brothers. So what I will, what I will do, this also helps too, when you use the card. Uh, so Moondogs versus the Monkey Brothers. So there's the Moondogs, uh, and the Monkey Brothers. Let's see if I can find them. There they are. So that match is booked. Uh, Cowboy Bob Orton, who I just saw, I think he was over here versus Johnny Rods. Let me see if I can find him. There he is. Uh, Iron Sheik versus George the Animal Steel. Did I pass him? No, there's Iron Sheik. George Steel, I know, is sort of at the bottom here. And uh, Gordon Sully interviews the powers of pain with Mr. Fuji regarding a title shot. Uh, so I will get the Powers of Pain out, and I will look through my stack of cards for uh, sort of ringside personnel. And whenever I use Gordon Sully, I use his post-match card, um, just because I don't want it to necessarily turn in, like the Powers of Pain aren't necessarily headed to a match. They just came out for an interview. And then the main event for this card is... Uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, who is the television champ, uh, going up against uh, Don Morocco. So that card is booked right there. Um, but then the next card is a primetime wrestling card. Um, so I will usually book... Uh, the other thing I like to do is organize uh, my cards... See, I think that feud might still be going on. I like to organize my cards by, like, you know, make a pile of tag teams, uh, make a pile of singles wrestlers. Um, I can even do a pile of enhancement talent. Um, yeah, these... Uh, Andre, I'm not sure Andre's... Andre was in the uh, Golden State Wrestling, but I, I have another idea for him, which uh, I will talk about in a second. Um, so usually for championships outside of the television championship, uh, these are decided, um, at the, at the big arena show at the end of the month. 
Um, it is possible I would have a, a tag team match for the main match uh, for Primetime Wrestling, but I'm going to hold off on that. Um, these two coming in here. So I'm going to say... Um, I did swap out the Bundy card for this card. Oh, these aren't tag team guys. Why am I putting them in the tag team pile? Uh, I would say that I want the main event of primetime wrestling uh, to be uh, Leaping Lanny Poffo. Oh, Poffo's injured. So it's not going to be Leaping Lanny Poffo. Uh, let me look on Obsidian. I have an injury, uh, injuries and suspension tab. And I can see that Leaping Lanny Poffos uh, is not going to come back till card 136. And uh, so that's, uh, that's just when it ends. So uh, he, won't, he won't come back after that. So uh, I'll hold off on this, this Tully Blanchard versus this. Um, so uh, let's see. I usually like to book for primetime wrestling. Uh, I usually only like to book four matches per uh, thing because um, primetime wrestling also on the back of that card that primetime wrestling card uh, there is the ability to book an extra match I think that wasn't um, that wasn't announced so uh, I like to to keep that small so let's see uh, I do like to have some big name matches um, we will say, we'll make this the debut of Bobby Heenan bringing in Big John Stud against George South. So uh, what I'll do is, as I book Golden State Wrestling, new note, uh, GSW 136, Prime Time Wrestling. And that will create this show down here. And then, new event. I'll have to find a way to delete that other one. 136, Primetime Wrestling, uh, event name, event category, Golden State Wrestling. Bloop, there it is. We have this event. Now I'm going to add my card template. So I come on over here to Templates. This is going to be a uh, Obsidian lesson too. Uh, so the Fed, this is Golden State Wrestling. Uh, and the venue will be the Cow Palace. San Francisco, uh, or, you know, spell it correctly. And this is card 136 from uh, 136 Prime Time Wrestling from Cow Palace, the Cow Palace, in San Francisco. California. And so our first match is going to be Big John Stud versus uh, George South. And I'll just make a note. This note is kind of just for me. It's a debut Big John Stud versus uh, George South. And uh, let's have what would be a good feud for the or a good thing for the main event. Um, I it, my tag champs are currently uh, the Outlaws, Blackjack Mulligan, and Barry Windham, and I kind of want them to lose the titles so I can bring in the U.S. Express. Um, but uh, there you go. Uh, I'm I'm really liking this King Kong Bundy versus Randy Savage. Randy Savage was just trying for the um uh the world championship and lost so uh that might be a nice main event is these two because randy savage is sort of a face and uh harley race who beat him is in the um is in the heenan family uh so having another heenan family member go after him is is a is a solid a solid choice uh so let's see i want um Poffo is injured. There's that. So let's, what tag match can we do here? These are kind of our face tag teams. And then these are our heel teams that are currently available. I also have the Powers of Pain, but they are already booked on that other card. Um, so let's do... 
classic Killer Bees versus the Dream Team uh, here. The Killer Bees versus the Dream Team. And uh, we'll put that match in there. And then we need one more match. Um, who needs a match here? Maybe uh, Ted DiBiase versus Sam Houston. Sam Houston, I'm, I'm, I think I'm kind of getting ready to uh, cycle him out. He had, he had a good um, sort of uh, feud going on. I almost forget who the feud was with, but he had sort of a good feud going on. Um, but then since that feud, he's just kind of done nothing except constantly lose. Um, so. We will put, we will say that is that show. Then for uh, card 137, we will uh, create this card here. New note, uh, Golden State Wrestling 137. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, that will be... Uh, wrestling Challenge... And we will insert our template here. Card template. There you go. I'll fill uh, this out later. Um, but this uh, event is going to happen on... Um, the 17th, is that right? Yep. Uh, Golden State Wrestling 137 Wrestling Challenge. Uh, Golden State Wrestling on February 17th. All right, so um, here are, on this show, I like to have a few matches and then a um, an interview segment. Um, so let's... This is also the match where... Tully, uh, where uh, Leaping Lanny Poffo can come back. Um, but I would kind of want to save their feud for later. So let's say that uh, Gordon Soley interviews the returning Lanny Poffo. And then in parentheses here, I'm just going to put uh, Tully Blanchard, uh, just so that's a note to me to remember uh, that that might happen. Um, and then for... Let's say, because um, <laughs> the Bulldogs will probably be going for a title shot on the final card of the month. Let's do the Bushwhackers versus the Bolsheviks to start things off. Uh, Bushwhackers versus the Bolsheviks. And uh, to start things off. And then Hillbilly Jim versus the Spoiler. That's a, um, uh, maybe that's the main event. Hibbly Jim versus the Spoiler. Uh, that would be a good main event. And then we want to have, uh, some squash, uh, type matches in. What's Piper doing? Piper's not doing much. Uh, who are we going to have the Bulldogs? Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Piper, Rowdy Rowdy Piper versus uh, Nacho Barrera. And then we're going to leave this open. There, there, there might be other matches uh, here. And then, uh, as I said, I, I don't book um, the whole month, I, you know, we just, I don't have to fill in all the gaps right now. The gaps can be filled in as we go along. And, um, this is Golden State Wrestling 138. And what did I call, I'm blanking on what I called main event wrestling. Uh, main event wrestling. And then again, I just go through this whole process, which I, I'm not going to do right now because uh, you've already seen it and uh, it would be boring. 
Um, but I will put in my um, Western Tag Team Championship match, the Outlaws versus the British Bulldogs, because um, they are feuding. And I don't know who's going to um, Western Heavyweight Championship. Harley Race. King Harley Race. Uh, versus, I don't know. I don't know who it's going to be yet. I'm going to see how things shake out uh, during the month. Um, but there you go. That is pretty much... Um, uh, that's pretty much how I would book out that. And what I do is I stack these cards up in the order of the matches that they will happen. Uh, I got to put uh, Leaping Lanny back in here uh, and Tully Blanchard right there. Um, so that's, you know, that's pretty much how I would book Golden State Wrestling. Um, and moving on to Portland Wrestling. Now, I don't have these results so i'm going to go back here to uh card 18 so i'm booking the the second card of the month and what happened on card 18 is uh that uh, don leo jonathan uh had a handicap match between uh let me see if i can find don leo jonathan between doug summers and buddy rose and during that match, uh, this big hulking m brute of a man uh, came out and tried to attack Don Leo Jonathan. And he actually, it was, I, I tried to make it like this cool debut, or, you know, like Kane at Hell in the Cell. Um, and, and the guy charged him and he just sidestepped him and the guy went flying out of the ring. Um, but that guy is, uh, where is he? He's not in here. Did I pass him? Oh, no, I'm going to have to get him out. Uh, or maybe he's in this stack of... Oh, boy. I got to I gotta dig him out. But it's Angelo Mosca. So we are going to make um, this next, this last Friday night over here. Oops, I got to create the show first or I'm going to get into this weird loop. Uh, so this is Pacific Northwest Wrestling. Uh, this is Card... Uh, Pacific Northwest 19, uh, Portland Wrestling, and again, it's, uh, and to fill in my, my template, my card template there, all that kind of good stuff, and, uh, this is Pacific Northwest Wrestling, and I'll, I'll add this all in later, but this is just how I keep my notes, uh, Angelo Mosca versus... Don Leo Jonathan. And um, this is my, my thinking is that uh, Buddy Rose is like, you know, you're, you're, a, you're a giant and we brought in another giant to kind of go after you. So I, I have to get out Angelo Mosca's card. I don't, I don't have it out right now. Um, but uh, so anyway, and then my thinking is my long-term booking is that Don Leo Jonathan will have a couple matches with Angelo Mosca. I don't know how those matches are going to go. Um, but then Don Leo Jonathan may say, well, I'm going to bring in a giant of my own to help me and bring in Andre the Giant. Uh, Andre the Giant has been in Golden State Wrestling, um, but I kind of phased out. I kind of did this thing where I phased out all the um, black and white cards and was just using color. Uh, so it's perfect time for Andre to come back. I don't want to bring him back into Golden State Wrestling, and I do think I want to keep him as someone who kind of travels around. So his next stop will be uh, the Pacific Northwest. So that match is going to be... Um, uh, that See, I don't think I have Angelo Mosca in this stack. I think I already looked through here, and he is not. So uh, there you go. What else happened... Let's see. Let me come back here. Sergeant Slaughter uh, crushed Steve Regal. He's still kind of working his way up. Uh, I do want to do one final blow-off match 
on this card between the Destroyer and Dutch Savage for the title. So that will be another card, another match on this card uh, for the um, for the championship. Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Championship, Dutch Savage uh, versus um, the Destroyer. And I want to do a steel cage match between Adrian Adonis and the Grappler. So already this is, and this is uh, stack, stacking up to be a nice card. Um, so let's see. The Grappler and Adonis. And then we've got Don Leo Jonathan, and I have to get that Angelo Mosca card out. And I think Buddy uh, Buddy Rose, I may have said Buddy Rogers, but Buddy Rose will be in the car in the uh, um, corner of Angelo Mosca. And uh, you see, Mister Perfect is in this stack. Kurt Henning, he just lost a loser leaves town match um, in in Golden State Wrestling. So I'm thinking he is going to show up here. Um, maybe he will appear and go against, um, uh, Sodbuster Kenny J. Mr. Perfect versus, so, uh, I don't think I have it in there as Sodbuster Kenny J. Um, and then who would be good to, because Sar Sergeant Slaughter has had a couple of, Squash matches, uh, so I kind of want to give him someone who will be a little bit of a challenge. He already beat Steve Regal, and let me see who else he beat here. Uh, he beat Kenny J. Okay, so he's kind of beaten the two. Uh, I mean, I yeah, he, I don't want him to have to fight another job guy. Um, you know what? I'll put him against Doug Summers. Uh, Doug Summers, unfortunately, I love you, Doug, but uh, your card is not that great. So uh, Doug Summers versus Sergeant Slaughter. And uh, so there you go. Mr. Perf Mr. Perfect versus Kenny J will be the opening match. Doug Summers, Sergeant Slaughter. I got to get out the Angelo Mosca card. And uh, there you go. So, you know, I'm not using a lot of guys. I could probably put a couple more matches on the card. Uh, maybe we want to have the final final encounter. What kind of match could they have? Um, I'm just going to put them in a grudge match. We'll put this card in there too. Magnum TA versus Tom Pritchard. Uh, so that'll be in there. And then uh, everybody else will just save till till next month. Although Buddy Rose will be in the corner of Angelo Mosca. Um, yeah, I'm okay with these guys not having uh, anything to do this month. So those matches are all booked. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into Memphis. I would book Memphis the same the same way. And here's the other thing. Uh, the kind of the last thing I'll say as I'm wrapping up because I feel that I've I've talked for almost 40 minutes here uh, or so. Um, you know, I'll book the Memphis matches in here as well. And uh, let's see, what did I do? Where is, oh, we got to enter in. Portland Wrestling, we say that this is a, a Pacific Northwest Wrestling. And uh, then we add that, and it pops up on the calendar. And then I got to put the Memphis days in there too. And then, of course, the final. Oh, did I not have the main event wrestling? I must not have made a date for it. So it's card 138. And that will be here. Uh, 138. Golden State Wrestling, save, so that's in there. So I just got to put in the Memphis stuff. Um, what I was going to say is a lot of times I will I will play out the feds in order. So uh, 
the next card I might do might be the Pacific Northwest Wrestling Fed on the uh, match on the 22nd. Um, just so I can kind of keep better track of the feuds and stuff. But some days I might do, sometimes I might do a month in chronological order. So the next match is Golden State Wrestling. So I may go in to do, roll out that one first, um, that one next, and then uh, the Golden State Wrestling Prime Time, and then uh, the Memphis Wrestling, and so on like that. So it really... It, it's kind of up in the air. I just, as I said, I don't get locked into things. Um, I, I just kind of uh, keep it kind of loosey goosey. Um, but there you go. I don't want to take up too um, too much more of your time um, here. Um, hopefully, that kind of gave you a little insight of, of to how I do. Uh, kind of my booking stuff. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to ask. Again, I will say this, uh, Obsidian is a tricky tool to learn and I can't answer one-on-one uh, -on -one questions. Uh, but if you have something you would like to know more of about Obsidian, uh, I will be happy to um, do that. The other great thing about Obsidian is these changes that I've made um, to this file are now reflected on my um, computer, uh, my desktop computer, my laptop computer and my device because they'll sync between all of those um anyway thank you so much for watching thank you for being a subscriber thanks for checking this out and i will talk to you soon bye everybody <laughs>